I'm sure most of us here, if not all of us, have a job. Some of us work five days a week, some of us work more than five days a week, and the lucky ones work less than five days a week. Some of us probably have plenty of years of experience working, and some of us might be like me, young and only a couple of years experience. A lot of times it's the young and inexperienced people that don't know their rights as employees since they've just started out working. If their rights are being stepped on, they usually feel like their only options are to either quit or take it. But even some older, more experienced people don't know their full rights. The rights of employees vary from state to state. A lot of states require employers to post employment laws in a public place. But employees can find state-specific state-specific law information through government websites like the Department of Labor or through hotlines. I'm just going to go through some essential information that I think everyone should know. First off, employees have the right to be treated in certain ways in the workplace. The rights of employees begin at the hiring process and last until they leave the job. In terms of unemployment insurance, employees have rights after they leave the job too. The State of California Employment Development Department states the Unemployment Insurance Program provides workers who lost their job through no fault of their own with weekly unemployment insurance payments. This program is 100% funded by employers who pay taxes on wages to paid employees. As I said earlier, an employee has rights at the hiring process. During an interview, there are limits on what an employer can ask. Normally, an employer can't ask for someone's age, sexual orientation, or religious beliefs. Also, an employer can't ask whether someone has or has had a disability. In addition, employers usually can't ask if someone has been arrested if the arrest didn't result in either a conviction, a verdict, or finding of guilt. They also can't obtain your arrest record. All of this also applies to current employees seeking a promotion. An employer also normally doesn't need a good reason to discipline or fire you. Yeah. In California, the laws allows an employer to discipline or fire a worker at will. That means they don't need to provide a reason. But there are also some significant exceptions to this rule. For example, your employer can't fire you because of your age, race, or certain other personal characteristics. You also can't get in trouble if you are reporting or complaining to law enforcement, a government agency, or your own employer about their illegal activities or safety violations. In California, you have to be paid at least at minimum wage, which is $8 an hour. You have to be paid even if you worked off the clock or volunteered, worked at home, or worked without approval. You have to be paid overtime unless you are exempt from overtime. Overtime means one and a half times your usual wage for every hour or fraction of an hour you work over eight hours a day or 40 hours in one week and double time for every hour you work over 12 hours in a day. Most workers are entitled to a paid 10 minute break every four hours and an unpaid 30 minute lunch break every five hours. Contrary to common belief, state law doesn't require your employer to provide you with vacations, holidays, or sick time. If you are provided with vacation, your employer can make policies for when you can and can't use it. The unused vacation time must be treated like wages and has to be included in your final paycheck when you leave a job, so don't forget that. Sick time is different though. You are not legally entitled to be paid for unused sick leave if you leave a job. You can usually use up to half of your sick leave in caring for a sick child, a parent, or a spouse. If you need time off, you might be able to take an unpaid family medical leave. The California Family Rights Act and Federal Family Medical Leave Act provide this option under certain circumstances. You can qualify for up to six weeks of partially unpaid, partially paid time off to care for a seriously sick child, spouse, or parent, or to even bond with a newborn baby under the California Paid Family Care Leave Act. 
one more thing. If you give more than 72 hours notice before quitting your job, you are entitled to receive all unpaid wages when you leave. If you are fired or laid off, you have to be paid in full immediately. That means at the moment of termination, you are entitled to be paid your wages that you are due. If there is any delay, you could be entitled to a penalty payment. When you leave a job, you can usually continue your group health coverage for yourself or your family through what is known as COBRA, which stands for Consolidated Omnibus Budget Reconciliation Act. Um, in some instances, it's California's equivalent for up to 36 months as long as you pay the employer's cost of continuing your coverage. This option may also be available if you retire or shorten your work hours. Despite all this, employment and labor laws don't actually apply to all workers. And by that, I mean it depends on whether a worker is an employee or an independent contractor. Now, an independent contractor is a person or business that provides services to a, another business under terms specified in a contract. Unlike an employee, um, an independent contractor works when required by an employee. So if they are required to show up five days a week, they will show up five days a week. If they're required to show up once a week, they will just show up once a week. So, you know, it's different than being an employer. Employment laws usually don't cover independent contractors, though. In most instances, employment laws do protect undocumented workers. For example, employers are not allowed to pay undocumented workers less than minimum wage. Employers also can't threaten or attempt to report their undocumented workers to immigration authorities if the worker makes um, a claim for unpaid wages. Uh, these are just some fundamental facts and rights that I, I think anyone who works should know. It's important for everyone to stand their ground while that they're at work so their rights don't get stepped on. You know, we have these rights for a reason, so know them. For more information on California employee rights, you can visit www.calbar.ca.gov. This website also has an attorney search if you feel you might have a lawsuit on your hands because of some violations in the workplace. Alright, that's it guys.